Hey, so um, uh, here is my what's up with Mickey and Project 80. So I have a new project. Um, my new project is um, one that is a lot more complex than my last project. Uh, for those of you who knew me from my last project that lasted for 18 years, it worked. Um, and it worked and it did a lot of things, but it also led me to this project. So I've been thinking about this project, Project 80, for a while. Um, based on the environmental changes that we made from Project ELF. Now, Project ELF was a program that I created. We allowed people to take their goods and then give them to somebody else who really needed them. So we did a lot of really fun, interesting things with that project. But what is the most insanely great part of that project is that amount of things that we kept from the landfill. So we averaged when it was before COVID, but we have, were averaging about 18,000 uh, pounds of product that we were moving in one little storage unit from just a few hundred people. And so that 18,000 pounds is nine tons, but I did it for 18 years. So when you look at that, that's 1,600 and some. So it's 1,600 tons of things that didn't go into the landfill or that got a chance to be reused or repurposed. And that is tremendously huge. But the next big problem that we have um, is again, right? I'm here for social justice. I create great things in the world um, and I solve things differently. And again, right? I dedicated my life to prosperity. And I will tell you that prosperity means that we got to stop killing the planet and we've got to give young people more opportunities and we've got to have more people earning um, from their, what they're doing. And uh, you also know that I like to goof around and play. So how do we take something that is happening that we're not going to be able to put back in the box, which is the InstaTalk world, um, is that it has gotten more creative. We've gotten more photographers out there. We've got more people posting and dressing and doing all of that. But the reality is, is this, the 60% of the clothes that are being um, created now are not recyclable. So they will not degrade. So we have a problem there. We have 63%, um, the, the fashion industry has already grown 10 times its size. It's, it's a beast and it's creating things that are toxic to the environment. And when you look at many, many places, people are buying an item of clothing and wearing it one time. And that's not how clothes were meant to be. They were made to be worn hundreds of times. So what we have kind of come up with is how can you tick, 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 tick back the clock and have those textiles be used differently? And how do we get them to be used in a way that is creative and interesting and bring another conversation forward. And so we've done a lot of research. I've got 18 months to build this project. Um, so I need all the help I can get. And I'll, I'm six months away from being able to have enough of it kind of figured out with enough people um, to have a prototype ready. And that is Closet 80. And that is creating as something that's gonna solve three items. The three items I have to solve are run, we are, we, we have too much stuff, right? We are holding all the stuff hostage in our closets. We are overbuying, we're buying for boredom. We are looking on all these things that we see on, on social media and we're buying, 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 buying. And the fact of the matter is, is that in the last two years, y'all wear the same clothes at home. So you, you weren't even fashioning. So um, the things are that I have to, I wrote myself a note. Um, one is that social capital, right? I, I dedicated my life to prosperity and in prosperity, it is the ability to magnify. So one of the ways that we invite people to magnify is to be able to trade. Well, I need them to trade something um, that's different. So social capital creates financial capital. And the way to also do that is creatively. And we have a lot of creative people that are, that are posting, but they don't have a way to connect. Um, they don't have a space. They don't have a, something to really, um, that can give them more of an internship or to be able to give people a very, very part-time job. Uh, one of the things that we've worked on in, if you've taken any of the classes that I've taught, 
um, is something called gray market income, which is just something that has a little bit more income. Um, so we can create something called gray market income for people, but we can also provide um, job training opportunities for people um, that maybe have new skills that are, that are maybe new to our country or that they have other things um, that they are having as barriers, right? So some people can only actually work for a few hours in a month. So giving them a tool um, by creating a system that allows access. And that is this idea of Closet 80. So basically it's a prop shop. So we will be servicing um, creatives who are doing photography, who are doing Instagram and product photography, or that they're shooting uh, maybe videos or something like that, and giving them access to a closet. And that closet is called Closet 80 because we're going to focus on 80 years of fashion. So we will have something from, you know, today back to, you know, 80 years before today. Uh, so we'll kind of have some things that people can utilize in the movie industry, um, that they don't have to recreate those clothes that, you know, if they need a, you know, foxy 70 coat, we got it. Um, so we have a storehouse to build. Uh, we have partners to be able to do that. We have things that need to be photographed. So we project one is social capital creates financial capital. And so by giving people an opportunity to create and play together, they will build social capital. And that social capital will lead them to some job skills and some creative outlets and um, give them more actual tools. So when you look at, you know, there's not enough creative solutions. Number two, they need access to creative solutions around creative work. And so we can be very creative in that, right? Giving photographers an access to a closet that's amazing. So they can not just do a stylized shoot, but they can really do um, some really interesting work that's very affordable. Um, but number three, right, is that we have a system that can save um, some of the clothes that are here that are being used for creative work. Right now, there's not a system that's magnifiable that creatives can access resources like this um, at a really reasonable rate um, at the rate that they want them. So if we can make it so that it's more cost effective, that it's more delightful, that it's more interesting, that it's fantastic and stylish to actually go back in and not create something that's brand new off of the runway, but go back to the runways of the last 80 years and find something magnificent and bring a new conversation to style, to bring a new conversation between old and new. And, and that's what happens, right? I mean, that, that's what the internet brought us, that, that old and new are now what the same, they're on the same search bar. So it, 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 is, it is now all one time. So one of the things that's very interesting about this project is I don't know where it's gonna go. I don't know for sure if it's going to work, um, but like my last project, I didn't know if it would work either and it did. So I'm gonna take that forward and I'm gonna invite you to be with me. And hopefully uh, we can use your fascinating, fabulous skills to build something that's magnifiable that will one, um, bring a new conversation here, bring new opportunity out here. And three, we can play and we can play in a lot of different ways. And that's really where I want to invite you to. Um, every person that I've broken this down to and said, hey, here's what I want to build. Um, not one person didn't go, oh my gosh, can I come play with you? So that's what's cooking. Um, and that's what I'm excited to, to build. So if you have great ideas for me, I'm taking it. Uh, if you want to be part of it, if you want to be on a mailing list, if you want to kind of help us along, I need all of it. I need all of you. I need all of you in about six months. All right. See you. Bye.